Hello, I am David L. Mooney, and welcome to my podcast, I Feel Responsible. This first episode is brought to you by Going Outside. It's a lot of fun. In it, I talk to my friend Shanzi about names, getting older, and potatoes. Hope you enjoy. I am talking to my friend Shanzi. Hello. Sean, Sean, Sean Noland. Yeah. Nobody, known, nobody known to me that yeah, known to most is Shanzi. Yeah. The. The, the Shanzi. Shanzi. It's like almost having a captain, it's except it's like the, it's like the Batman. Yeah. The, the Shanzi. Yeah, exactly. Or the Fonzie. All right. A little. <laughs> <laughs> the Fonz. Yeah. The Shans. The Shans. The Shans. I might start calling you the Shans now. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do already. So really? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. All right. Is that well, if it's, if it's not original, I, I, I hear it all cool the day. There's all kinds of shit that gets said about my name, so. <laughs> oh, that brings me to my next point. Swearing in this podcast. <laughs> Damn it. It's uh no oh, uh, there you go. That's a good way that's a good way to <laughs> segue after Alright. Um Okay, for everybody that also knows me, I have the worst potty mouth in the world. I could yep. not I could never be a teacher. <laughs> You'd be a cool teacher. I don't know. I'd I be a cool uh you know when I was a kid maybe not when I was a kid, but like in high school, whenever I heard a teacher swear, I was like, Oh, they're cool. Uh, that's a cool teacher. That's a cool teacher. Yeah, except for me it'd be all the time. <laughs> You would be the bad kind of cool teacher. I would teacher. be that teacher. Little, I'd be like... Oh. Well, too cool. I'd be getting hit with the... Too cool for school, one by itself. Yeah, exactly. Uh. I'd be getting hit with all kinds of... Uh, well, God only knows. Like, what happens? Like, penalties or something for teachers? I, is, there, is there such a thing? I think there's... They get uh, detention. Right? That's how school works. I don't know, actually. I really don't. <laughs> like, I don't... I guess it's like... I don't know if there's, any, is, if there's some sort of penalty for swearing... Hmm. If you're a teacher, or if there's some, you know, sort of, like, misconduct that you would get. The only thing I've ever heard of is, like, you know, student-teacher relations is the only yeah. thing well, that can really okay. get you into some serious trouble. So they're like, okay. <laughs> At teacher orientation, they're like, alright, you can do anything, just don't have relations. Yeah. Everything else is fine. You can't have sex with your just students. Don't, don't do that. We the one thing. We fully, you know, we, we really don't want you having sex with the students. Please don't do that. Yeah, I mean. All right, so yes, they're swearing, over eighteen. Swearing, <laughs> swearing in adult content <laughs> in this podcast, especially with Shunsi. Two things that I am horrible with. Like, this is two things that, like, if you want to talk to me about stuff, this is the things that are gonna pop up. I know, and I think I've decided for the podcast. I'm just, I'm gonna. <laughs> let, I don't want to give you like free reign because I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to see where that goes. <laughs> A dark place. We're going to do a dark place. So try to turn it back, but like a little bit so far. Restrain yourself, Shanzi. Okay. <laughs> Restrain yourself. Okay, well then David's going to come up with a topic. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about names. Oh, I go yeah, by right. Mooney now. No, no. For most people. No, yeah, but there's there's four stages of Mooney, though. No, there's yeah, there not. is. There's just, no, there's just Mooney. There's Mooney. I mean, there's only the Mooney. We don't need to talk about the other stages <laughs> right on this right now. Okay. Well, <laughs> once again, adult content. <laughs> See, there goes Shanti again. Yep, yep. Off, yep. All right. Um, is it four or three? There's... No, there's like Mooney, and then there's uh... there's just Moon Dog. There's just the one. I thought there was a second. There was a second one in there. If there's if there's another one other than Moon Dog, I really I don't know, and that would make sense. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I think it 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 goes from okay, there's David, and then all of a sudden there's Moon Dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the stages. I think he just he howls. There's is normal what he does. David, then there's Mooney, then there's Moon Dog. <laughs> Moon Dog's the extreme. Moon Dog Saints. Moon Dog Saints. <laughs> <laughs> shout out shout out to to Dina who's that Mo, uh, it's someone I work with oh, okay. with name Moon, Moon Doc Saints oh that's pretty good she was really excited about it for one day and then doesn't call me that anymore and I was sad oh that sucks yeah Moon Doc Saints bring that. yeah I'm into it I like that yeah actually who are you chilling with I'm chilling with the Moon Doc Saints mhm cause, cause we're like, who the plural. hell is that 
I myself as a person. Uh, yeah, there's well, because I said there's more than one of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. There, there's a lot going on so inside this works. head of mine. The the Moondog Saints are compiled of David and then Mooney and then Moondog. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Together, the trifecta. They're the Moondog Saints. <laughs> So yeah, that actually, that's the trinity right there. Yep. <laughs> All right, so uh, to, to finally get to the topic, oh like yeah. after we've already been talking, but... Uh, Sorry. Talking, oh, well, that's fine. There's no, there's no like... There's no time limit. This podcast is just just I just talking. have restrictions. We're just there's talking. No, there's no other... There's no, there are some <laughs> restrictions for you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I don't, I, I don't really know what format to go with the podcast, but I think... Should have a general topic, and then not really stick too loosely if we start talking about something else. No okay. uh, worry. Let's talk about getting older. <sighs> I know. Going in with I a know. downer all of a sudden. When was your birthday? October. 26th. October. Okay, so you got. And you're I'm how old now? 22, 23? 20, 24. Oh, you're twenty four now. Yeah, I'm an old man. Jesus Christ, where does the time go, dude? I don't know. I th- how old? Were you when I met you? Uh, Were you 24? At Loman? Yeah, I was probably 25. Yeah. Because you weren't 21 yet. No, I was a little a little boy. Yeah, and that was, what, four years ago? No, more than that. I think I was like 19? Oh, then I could have been 24, 23. Yeah, my, my uh, age now. Yeah, because... I'm going to be 29. You're going to be 100 next month, right? Yeah. Or this This month. This month. That's right. I'm going to be old. It's creeping up. Yeah. I'm hitting that halfway point already, pretty much. I've, uh... Okay, I want to talk about getting older. Well, I just just graduated, so I've been thinking a lot about life and how old I'm getting. Yeah. Generally. There are two moments that happened to me somewhat recently, within the last few months, that have really made me feel old. One of them... Driving down the street, you know, there's car washes. I don't know, this must happen everywhere in the country, right? Yeah, it's not oh, just yeah. like from right here. There are car washes, and people with car wash signs yell. And there was there was a girl who was like, "Oh, you mean like hosting like like a high school car wash or something, something like, that, like right? that? Yeah, like yeah. like a like a benefit type thing." Yeah. I thought you were talking about like those fu- those. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa! I was talking about those, <laughs> I was talking about those uh, the ones that you know. You drive through or whatever, like you actually pay the. You know, no, the no, I mean like, I mean you like actually just about a, like a, a vacant parking like lot, like a fundraiser type yeah. thing. Yeah, vacant okay. parking lot with a hose. Okay. And <laughs> do you understand? Do I understand? Okay. <laughs> I guess. And you. there was there were these girls holding car wash signs, yelling at the cars, right? That they do at those fundraisers, and like she had her shirt all like tied up, and like she was like. Whoa! car wash <laughs> and my immediate thought was not oh there's a girl who is scantily clad my yeah. first thought was how old are you no my th- first thought well kind of that and also <laughs> like what are you doing real life a little young to my be goodness old. cover up a little bit young lady I, I, that made me feel again old i remember that uh i remember when i was pretty young i, I think i might have still been in high school nope, xbox sounds uh, battlefront i don't have battlefront anyways uh yeah, I remember like I was pretty young, and my dad at one point said something similar. Like they were driving by, and there was a car wash thing out there, and I guess this one chick just straight up pulled her pants down and mooned like a bunch of cars that were going around. So he literally was like, "I think that girl was a little too young to be doing that," and I was all, "What? Where? Where?" Because you know, <laughs> at the time I was probably around that girl's age. I was all, "What? Where? I missed it. I missed it." You know, and nowadays I feel like you know we I mean, we got. Uh, you know, hostesses where I work that are, you know, yeah. not of age. and so But my, my immediate thought was know. more, it, it, my immediate thought wasn't even like she is too young. My oh, immediate like thought was like, I need to talk to her about her life decisions <laughs> and how she is degrading herself. That was the, what really made me feel old. The other, okay. If, if you go down that route, I went, we're going to get into other shit <laughs> that, you know. All right. So I go into a sandwich place, a deli. And I, I walk up to the counter, and there's some high school kid behind the counter. Mm. And uh, I go up to order my sandwich, and he's just like, Sup? Oh, girl. Oh, God. And I was just like, 
Ex- excuse me? And he was like, oh, okay, how can I help you, sir? And I was like, that's better, young man. So you respect better. me. And then... <laughs> See, and now you're starting to get into... That like, was... Well, no, that that really made me feel old. That he yeah, was like, but I mean, seriously, so, though, so like... Thrawn, I was just like... The mannerisms of the, millenni- the millennials is the rise we're of... We're millennials. Mille- no. Millennials. Millennials. Well, maybe I am. Ah, like, where's the cut It's like people born in the 90s. It's... Well... Uh, no, I'm talking about, like, teenagers nowadays. The we're kids talking these in days. Their, in their teens, yeah. Like, I'm talking, like, 15, 16, maybe 15 through 18 nowadays. Yeah. You know, maybe even so, 19. Okay. Because you're, you're not in that at all. You don't fall into that range. When were no, you born? well, I, I guess... 90-something? So. 91. You see, you're real close. I mean, I was 87, so... Yeah. Millennials are, have to be, you know... I think, actually, I think... Almost, like, Well, it depends to, on, like, who you ask. Because it's like, 95 and, and on. Like, almost, like... No, I yeah, think like I'm in it. Millennials, almost, like, in, like, the thousands. Like, I'm, I'm stretching here. Like, the 2000s. Yeah. Because kids are old enough now. I've always where, like, thought... If they were born in 2000, they can get jobs. Yeah, no, I was thinking... Yeah, I remember thinking about 2000, how cool it would be to be born that year. Because then you just... Every year would be your age, but those kids are like, well, if they're born on New Year's, like sixteen now. Mm-hmm. That's wacky. I've actually met someone born in two thousand. They are either fifteen or sixteen now. Oh, well, most likely. Pro- but, <laughs> well, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> but I mean, uh, no millennials, man. Like, I we are millennials though. It's a broad age spectrum. I am not a millennial, bro. I am. I am. I identify I am with it. I '80s kid. Oh, that was, well, well, you're too. I mean, there were there were us '90s. Kids. I had enough years there to where I remember. Do you? Did you? Do you remember Pokemon? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, then you're you're still in the same general age. Group. Well, I mean, I yeah, I remember Pokemon, but guess what? I was probably playing Pokemon way before you were. You you know. Pa. You were probably. Tush. What Tush. were you in? What? You're probably in elementary school when I was playing Pokemon. Yeah, but I was still playing Pokemon yeah, in elementary I was in, school. I was in probably middle school or high school by then. Still got your binders, bro? I don't. You got stolen in middle school. Yeah, I lost mine too. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this the other night too. Like yeah. even even Josh was saying, you know, are we talking about Pokemon? Because yeah. this kid came up to me and was like, did you have Charizard? I was like, I didn't have Charizard. I did have a Blastoise though. And he goes, holographic? And I was like, yeah, but it got stolen. And Josh was like, are we seriously talking about Pokemon right now? <laughs> Like, you yeah. gotta talk about Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon was like it wasn't that long in like the grand scheme of my life. Yeah, but po- I was really into Pokemon when it happened. I spent quite a bit of money. Now on. talking about getting older, I look at Pokemon now, and I'm like, yeah, the kids are still into it. Good, but there's all kinds of weird Pokemon now that are not as cool. Nah, I'm going out and saying it's it. not like the original. But know. I guess you know. I mean, that's just. Part of getting older, once again, since the beginning of time, is you just think that things when well, you were never, younger were cooler. Yeah, exactly. Like I never thought that I would listen to today's music and hate it. I always thought I was going to be one of those people that were like, "Ah, no, like I'm very musically inclined. Of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like everything. I'm not that shallow." But I swear to God, I feel maybe, like okay, maybe, maybe you're, maybe it's a few years off for me, but I, it's actually a guilty pleasure of mine. It's, Pop music. Um, it's funny how, like, you know, something that I didn't like, like, back in the day, like, say, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. You know? Uh, I didn't buy an album. I never, you know, I didn't put the time into it at all, you know? Yeah. I just heard what I heard, like, on the radio. And nowadays, like, if something like Justin Bieber comes on or something like that, I'm like, oh, this, oh, this is horrible. But then when I hear Backstreet Boys come on, I'm like, hey! <laughs> all right! Yeah, it's amazing okay, so how, like... Saying, so, like you revert 20, back. 20, 20 years from now, people are going to be hearing Justin Bieber. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. That guy that... I don't even know what his future is going to be. Me okay, neither, I, have right. a, I have a story about Justin Bieber. Oh, I have a co-worker boy. who I hang out with. We hung out at his house the other night. Uh-huh. Unabashedly. This is, a, this is a person that I like and I enjoy spending time with. Unabashedly loves Justin Bieber. Oof. Like, that is his jam. It's brutal. There's like one okay, Justin Bieber song that I like, and he, he didn't even write it. 
It was I don't Skrillex. Know. Skrillex fucking did it. There's there was once a song. I, I I do listen to the radio, and I get down on some pop music. And there was a song that I was listening to, and I was like, "This isn't that bad." And then later I found out it was Justin Bieber, and I was like, "Oh." <laughs> but then I was like really taking a good look at myself, and I was like, "You know what? You liked this song before you knew. Yeah. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy." So okay, right, so I'm okay with that song. But see, at least like in my defense, I mean, I liked the song. But like I said, in my defense, he's not the one that wrote it, you know. So, in that sense, I'm still okay. <laughs> You're okay. I'm still okay to hate Justin Bieber. <laughs> I don't. I don't hate anyone. You know this. Well, I don't openly hate anyone. I don't talk about hating anyone. Keep it deep inside <laughs> until it explodes one day. I have no problems. I'll be like, you know what? I really <laughs> don't like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I, you know, you've you've been frustrated with me before trying to talk about people and how you don't like them, and I'm just like, well, they have this good quality or something. <laughs> and I'm probably like, no, not even that. <laughs> that does not justify the rest of that. You know how that person is. I still don't like them. <laughs> people, people are good. Well, I think that humans are intrinsically good. It's getting worse throughout the as time goes through. I start to hate people more and more. <laughs> like, no. I do. Like, wow. as time goes That's through, yeah. Sad. It is. But it's... Like, every, you know, everybody's, and everybody's also stuck in their phones. Yeah. You know? You used to be able to, like, ride on a bus or something, and, you know, if you see somebody come onto the bus, you know... And how would, you, how would you know about tweets? Like, how would you know what, like, someone a few states away thought about their sandwich that doesn't make any sense to me no so you're just on the bus and you don't know about what they think about their sandwich yeah pretty much (laughs) no you know me and phones I I can't stand them although I like I have a smartphone yeah but I mean it's a love hate thing at least me and you can sit down I've had a video about smartphones yeah I know at least me and you can sit down and have a conversation though I mean we might be recording it because it's probably going to go onto a smartphone but well, hope yeah, actually, okay, that's the but good side of smartphones. Though, but I mean, is it, people could be listening to this from their smartphone. Well, yeah, I mean, but it's kind of the cool thing. At the same time, me and shout you still, out if you're listening. To the still, had, you know, sat down and had a conversation. That was the nice thing about going on a cruise, was, you know, you go out into the middle of the ocean, you don't have sub carrier service out there, you know. Yeah. So it's amazing how it's like, nice. That's why I like camping. How many when I go camping, actually looked up and would actually talk to you. Now, if you notice if you're in major cities somewhere, like if you're in like a public place, most of the time, even if you're on a date with a girl, they're in the they're in their phone, you know? And you're like, so how was your day? Oh, it was, it was okay. You know what you do in that situation? Throw their you, phone? No, you just, <laughs> you just text her, I don't think it's going to work out, and you leave. You know and what I'm saying? Though? Get, then that's how you can. I, I guarantee, though, like if we. I mean, up, I'm sure she's a nice girl. I don't want to be. I don't <laughs> want to be saying, rude. I'm I mean, just, don't be rude to her. But, I'm not just you know. saying, like, I mean, I was using that as an example. I'm just saying, like, if you actually go out to a bar right now, or you know, any public place, yeah, look around. Well, it's it's a weird thing. I, I've t- I've talked about this before in uh, my video, smartphone addiction, but it's your go-to, like in social, like. When you're in an awkward social situation, you just retreat into yourself. Even though, like, it, the point of a smartphone is to connect with other people. You're really separating yourself from people. Yeah. Yeah, you know? very much so. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, I just... I don't know, I don't feel it as much, you know. like that. And like I said, that was the beauty of, like, being... I don't think that's being the, older, though. I think that's just being... Well, no, I'm just... Well, I don't know, because, like, when... When we were, well, at least when I was younger, we didn't have, you know, smartphones. I mean, I still had a rotary phone. You know, and it was attached to my house. It was a landline, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I say rotary phone. So how do you phone. feel about being 100? Is it, <laughs> it's a good milestone. <laughs> I'm, just... I'm right up there with Johnny Depp and Pharrell. <laughs> we're all vampires. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, actually, I don't, I don't. I remember the landline. I remember. Yeah. I remember you're, also you're, dial-up internet, and that you couldn't do that and be on the phone at the same yep, time. Yep. Yep. Fifty-six K modem. Yep. And I remember calling people, and you'd get the busy signal, and they're like, they're probably on the internet. Mm-hmm. That's no good. Mm-hmm. And I also remember like my mom expecting a call and me wanting to go. I on don't even the internet. Know, was yeah. like, eight, I wanted to go onto chat rooms with mm-hmm. my middle school friends. AOL. No, I think. I, I that was a little bit before my time. I I was Yahoo chatting. Oh, we were a little bit cooler. Uh, but I wanted to go chat with my middle school friends, and my mom was like, "I'm expecting a call. You can't go on the internet." And I was like, "But mom, everything's terrible because I'm 12. <laughs> I don't. I'm so mad about everything, and I want to talk about how I'm mad with my middle school friends. But... I want to talk to my friends. Oh, just, random mom." People. Mom, I remember like, constantly getting those like direct messages. ASL. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> no, no, it's like it would pop up like like if somebody direct messaged you like if you well especially on AOL or or something like if you were. I think, you there. know what actually. You don't have to do that anymore because of Facebook. People can. F- just creep on their own time and find those. Oh things yeah, out. no, that, that this is all like I think in the past, like big time. Yeah. Early internet days. I we are seriously we're like going to be old men. Actually old men one day. That's the other thing about well, like us complaining about being old. I'm sure there are people who are older than us listening to this being Much like older. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. But no. this is one of like our ages are kind of where it starts where you start to realize that aging is a thing. I, mean, I, I feel like like I, I'm starting to get back brought back pain. I feel like me maybe more than you because like the other night I was literally sitting there and I was like, it's my birthday this month. Oh my God, one more year and then I'm going to be 30. Dude, and it but literally, then, okay, like, I was literally like staying up like, when, shanzy, the, shanzy. when did I decide that 30 was okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, Peter why Penn. is this happening to me? Yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to start going backwards. I think you can get away with no. it. No. Yeah, because no. I feel like, you know, the older I get, you know, it's like, oh boy. Don't do that. Okay, well, here's what you do, is you make, okay, you just, you have your dirty 30, because it rhymes. <laughs> dirty 30, huh? Yeah. Oh, card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, this, you're going to the party this month, right? Your birthday party? Mm-hmm. I will be there. Yeah. Josh kind of took this one. Josh Pants? Yeah. Josh Vance. <laughs> he's he's he went all out apparently. I I have no I know nothing about it. I just told yep. him one night because because I was like so distraught over oh. the fact of Dude, being, you're not even there yet. You're not even at thirty. It's a year away and as here's fast as two thousand fifteen went, poof. Yeah. Well here's the thing about getting older that I have realized is that I generally in most areas of my life become a better person the older I get. Yeah, I calm down a lot. Well I don't mean just that. I mean just like I I feel like I am more responsible. I'm just digging myself in the hole now and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I will have none of it. Old people and that you realize we're oh, shit. you know yeah. we're all getting old. Yeah, we're all dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody's dying. Morbid thoughts. Morbid thoughts. It's but yeah, that's why, like I told Josh, it's I was beautiful. Like, Change you know is good. I'm not gonna do anything because no, not, you gotta. Do I, t- I told him I was like, I'm not gonna plan anything. I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, because you last... gotta. You okay? Here's here's. But that's what when our, he stepped our, in, though. He was like, Oh, I got this. Our society dictates that on the anniversary of the Earth going around the sun, when you started being here outside of another person that you have a bunch of people around and a lot of times I think actually the older you get probably your birthday becomes less about you and more about your friends that want you to have a good time yeah and I, that's exactly what I think Josh was doing because yep because <clears throat> you like yeah I've been you know I, I'll be like at work and next thing I know oh, no, I have to say I have a lot of fun on my birthday oh yeah yeah, I remember. I think I was there, wasn't I? Sometimes I've had some. I've had some like weird, depressing birthdays, but they were all like when I was 
when I was younger. See, I was thinking back one, in the day. This one may have been a depressing one, but this one might actually turn out to be pretty good because of what I've been hearing. Because I oh, well, you got to keep your expectations low, man. That's the secret to life. Well, I mean, that's why I. Told that's Josh one of the to, secrets to life. That's not the only secret. Don't. Uh, don't, you crack that code, you don't have. To. Don't tell me anything about it, you know. But like, it's get it's gotten to the point now where like I'll be working and then you know like one of the girls at work comes up, hey, uh, what kind of cake do you like? <laughs> I'm like, what kind of cake do you like? I don't really like eat very much cake. What honest. about cheesecake? No. But I have I, to. It is time to end this podcast, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no longer friends. <laughs> And that is fine. That's like okay. actually, there's a there's a lemon cake that my mom used to make all the time. That lemon mm. cake was bomb, you know. Right. But I'm not very like I'm not into like the very chocolatey or very sweet cakes. Like I, you know, my, I'm not a sweet guy. I'm a savory guy. Yeah. I'd if you if you give me a bowl of ice cream, I'll be like, could I have steak instead? <laughs> exactly. I'd, I'd have steak over ice cream. Or anyway. or a salad too. Like yeah, I'll take a salad over an ice cream. I like salads, but for some reason they make there's me, actually there's they make me itchy. I don't know. There's a story that my mom tells. I was too young to recall, but I was a child. Now a child, and I had a bowl of ice cream, mm-hmm. and my dad had a salad, and I asked him if we could trade. <laughs> I do not remember this, but I don't deny it because I'm like I mean I like ice cream. I just don't. Yeah. It's just it's just ice cream. Oh, hold for sneeze. <coughs> Shut up, David. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Bless you. Thank you. I was gonna say first you don't like cheesecake and then you don't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I've never really been big on cheesecake, man. I've always mm. been like a. I, have, I like the lemon cake. Also talking and, about and things. And pies, like I like key lime pies. Key so lime, pies, lime, yeah. lime and lemon Okay. in dessert, and you got me. Yeah. But, you know. So how do you feel about sherbet then? Like lime sherbet? Uh, I like it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And okay. like orange sherbet, I like orange sherbet. Like a citrusy, you know? Okay. Citrusy desserts, I guess. I like, I love oranges. No, me too. Yeah. But like, I'll go to town on an orange. But like, I mean, I would they oh, have like, like if a, you buy a bag of oranges, it will last me a day. <laughs> if they're there, I will destroy them. <laughs> it will not last. I will long. make ruin it's to like, that bag of oranges. It's like me and potatoes. Like I'm surprised that there's a bag of potatoes over there still. Actually, I should have made some of that. With Just uh, I feel like I should make a joke about how you're Irish. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I love potatoes too. I'm I'm a potato <laughs> fan. All right, here. What are your top? Top th- we'll go top three ways to eat potatoes. Oh damn! I've okay. got I've got mine. I've got mine in the bag. <laughs> okay, well there. Well, my favorite is baked potato, cheese uh-huh. and butter. You know. Over yeah. There. You go cheese and butter. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah. And, and that's it. No chives for you. No, no, no I don't like onions or something. Okay. Uh, the other way to do it is with the wedges, when you bake wedges. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I woke up one day, and Abby was cooking something, and I didn't have contacts on or anything, so I just kind of popped out of the room, and I was like, what smells so delicious? And they started laughing, and they were like, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, of course. All right. <laughs> That's what, yeah, she cooked some wedges in here. All right, so you got baked wedges. What's and your third? mashed. Mashed. Okay, okay, mine would go... Mashed. But, but mashed with like the way Abby does it. Like she mashes it. I like mine a little chunky with the skins. Mm-hmm. Leave the skins in there. She does that and then what she'll do you add... doing? Like the ch- What's this creamy? It's it's still good, but she I like adds chunky like, with skins. Yeah. And then she'll add like cheese and, and butter and shit to it. Yeah. Mine, mine is like mashed. You've got you to try it. Mashed. mashed number things. one for me. Then french fries and then hash browns. Oh, yeah. See, there's hash browns. Well, Tater tots is like a close... Close tie for third, but the hash browns wins out. Okay. Tater Favorite tots. kinds of potatoes. This is now the potato podcast. <laughs> this is just what we're going to talk about until the end. Um, red potato? Mm-mm. I know. Okay. All right. I'm into the red potato. Um, I don't like sweet potatoes either. The classic white? Yes. And then sweet is my third. I, you know, but, but I only but, eat the one. I only eat me, the classic. That's it. Let me tell you. Sweet potatoes with savory toppings. Salt and butter on a sweet potato. 
Get those marshmallows out of there. They're just too Won't sweet, have it. though, man. Like, yeah, but try it. Try it with just salt and butter. I mean, I'll try it, but you know, I just you know, well, Josh's you're, mom you're, got you're me worried about food. I am. I really am. Yeah. I like it. I almost vegan. killed you with a carrot last time I hung out here. <laughs> Why? Because your throat got all issues. You don't remember? Oh yeah. I almost killed. I almost killed you with a carrot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, there's like certain things that I'll, that I'll be able to eat and certain things that just bug me. That's weird. Potatoes and carrots are both root vegetables. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I guess, well, actually, Potatoes they're, they're different do families, it. though. I, maybe, do I don't know. I'm not a botanist. I I've... don't pretend to be. Have you seen The Martian? Yes. That's it was good. real good. All right. Well, that that's potato enough. talk, you know, reminded me of The Martian pretty much. Though. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, well... Uh, I think that's probably enough podcast. Yeah, I, I don't know. How long have we been talking? Probably for a while now. We have been talking gonna for to, a bit. For you're going to have to edit this probably. I will. I am lazy, so I probably will do <laughs> as little as possible. I know you've dropped a few F-bombs. At oh, least yeah, one. Sorry. I, I, to get those out. Like I, I said, know. I knew what I was getting myself into. <laughs> but I probably... We'll see how far my laziness goes. I gave a <laughs> swear word warning in the beginning. Yeah. So that alleviates me from anything you may or may not have said. <laughs> um, where should people go to find more of you? What are you on Twitter? Uh, Shanzi Shanzi. Shanzi Shanzi. Mm-hmm. How do you spell it? Because I always misspell it. S <laughs> E A N S Y. Yeah, I spell it with and an I E. Repeated, yeah. I don't know why. It's because of Abe and Enzi. Uh, people should also go there and watch Abe and Enzi. Yeah, very true, actually. Actually, we... I should put all those on Twitter. Yep. Just like post the whole Me season. and Shanzi did a web series. Mm-hmm. Which we're episodes gonna long. bring back. We need to bring that we back. We will. We will. Mm-hmm. That would be good. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, look up Abe and Edzy. Edzy spelled with an that's the I-E. S-I-E. Yeah. He did that one with the I-E. Because I thought that's how you spelled your name. Yeah, I know. Had I known. But it's too late to go back and change it now. <laughs> it doesn't Maybe. matter. Like, we'll see. The, uh, <laughs> the idea of that character, anyways, was based off me, so I mean, it doesn't have to be completely. Yeah. It doesn't have to be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And All right. Uh, for me, youtube.com slash DJL Mooney, where you can find this episode, which you might be hearing it from. And hopefully, if uh, this is the first episode ever, so hopefully, this will also be. On iTunes? That would be cool. I think I can figure it out. I understand the concept. We'll see if it works. Yeah. If you're listening to this on iTunes. Um, you know, I was just... Back in the day... You're hearing this in the future. Back in the day, I was full of doubt. <laughs> but uh, you know. You know that I made it. <laughs> and if not... <laughs> uh, just, you know, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> and <laughs> don't worry about it. All right. Um, yeah. I feel like we've accomplished a lot. Yeah. Names. We, we hit some serious subjects. Names. Here. We got a little dark with getting older. Well, I mean, it, it's we it's a dark subject. Finished yeah. on potatoes. At least for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Potatoes. Yeah, for you, not for me. I'm fine. I might actually go make a potato. <laughs> you should. Well, uh, how are you going to make a cheese, potato? Because making potatoes takes a long time. Yeah, you bake them. Hey, I boil them. I just wrap them in like tin foil and just bake them. Have you ever gone camping and taken a potato and then like mm-hmm. cut cut it up and put olive oil and salt and like seasoning and just tin foiled it mm-hmm. threw it in the threw coals? It in the fire, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. That's the best. Oh yeah, dude. It's the best. It's just hard to know when it's done. I've gone so far out when it comes to camping that I've uh, oh man, I've, I've wrapped up a roast and put it under the coals. We got to do a podcast about camping because I have a hammock that I want to set up. We've got the right person. In trees. But it's the middle of winter. Eagle Scout, so... That's right. I did well, a lot you know me, I grew up camping. Yeah, I know. Taking you out to my... Same here. To my land. All right. To my land. <laughs> to the... <laughs> to Mooningshire. Mooningshire. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, everyone. Hope everyone is well. Night. <laughs> Night or morning. Night or morning. Whatever, whenever it is. I hope you slept well. <laughs> is it a good sleep? Was it good? Well, let, let us know. <laughs> I I think that's enough. Adios! <laughs> <laughs>